Today we take a detailed look at the new Grey Cat armor sets and of course where you can find them. Three variants are only available for purchase through the pledge store for real money or store credits. One is available in Orison in-game and the last one can be found on Everest Harbor, also for in-game Alpha UEC. But of course, we'll look at each armor step by step and I'll show you all the points and places to get them. And to preface one thing, in our opinion, the look of the new Greycat armors is definitely more than well done. We start with three armors that can be bought in the pledge store. We'll take a detailed look at what category you'll find them under and how much they cost in a few moments, of course, but for now we're going to talk about the Greycat aerial armor variations. And in case you're wondering why some of our models don't carry a backpack, that's currently a bug. And so far it's pure gamble whether you can start equipping with or without a backpack. All aerial armor variations are in the medium category, have a heat value of minus 61 to plus 91 degrees and a very high carrying capacity of 91. It is also noticeable that the connection cable from the backpack, which goes over the right arm to the right glove, is not present in the current game version. On the concept drawings, this is an integral part and the connections and preparations are visible even now. And since the suit comes from Greycat, we assume that is the possibility of an extended power supply for upcoming multi-tools and dedicated handheld devices. But let's start with the first variant, the Aerial Quicksilver Armor. The main color here is a reflective silver, as well as the lower chest plate and applications are in matte black. In the dark and appropriate lighting, the light is reflected atmospherically. The Quicksilver version is one of our favorites. Come to the Aerial Black Cherry version. The main color here is kept in a dark red as well in the area of the lower chest plate as well as the applications we find also matte black. In the darkness the black cherry is the most inconspicuous and darkest version. With the Aerial Harvester version we come to the last of the three available variants in the pledge store. The main color here is in a bright orange and analogous to the other two variants, the lower chest plate and applications are kept in a matte black. The harvested version is still recognizable in the dark, therefore belongs rather to the more conspicuous versions. With the Aerial Standard version we can buy directly on Orison in-game, we have a blue-white color scheme which reminds most of police or rescue forces. And due to the many white color parts, we are still well recognizable here, even in the darkness. The last and also in-game purchasable version is the Aerial Hazard Edition. This one is kept in yellow-gray and appears in a real industrial look, but the Hazard is also currently and appropriately designed. And in the darkness we have again an increased recognizability. The pledge store variants we get under the tab gear, where the standalone armor versions without the associated grey cat skin, with just under $80 with German taxes, are not exactly cheap. But we can buy two versions in game. The yellow hazard version we find on the cargo deck, the space station Everest Harbor, which is located above the main planet Lowville. There we get the whole hazard armor set for 8370 Alpha UEC. And the equipment includes the medium armor category, the high carrying capacity and of course a flashlight. And should you want to add the aerial standard version to your inventory as well, a small trip to Orison on Crusader is in the offing. You can find it on the industrial platform in the cargo store there. 
price here is also 8370 Alpha USC, which in our opinion is definitely worth it. The Mac Flex version is cheaper but offers less advantages. But let's move on to the new ships and vehicles that can be bought in-game with 3.14. You can get the Hercules Starlifter M2 version as well as the Nova Tank or Tong called at Laurel at New Deal. Just under 5.2 million and 0.55 million Alpha USC, respectively, you will be the proud owner of the newest vehicles in the game. The Starlifter C2 variant can be purchased for 4.9 million Alpha USC on Area 18 at Astro Amara. I hope you liked the video and leave me a like and maybe even a subscribe here. The new grey cut armors are very well done and expand the available designs again. Especially the high carrying capacity and upcoming features like an extended power supply are definitely very exciting for this armor category. But as always, I'm interested in your opinions on this. Are you interested in these armor types or do you prefer to stick with battle armors? Feel free to let me know under the video, in the Discord or in the almost daily Twitch livestreams. And the most important as always at the end, a big thank you to all Patreons, channel members and Twitch subscribers. Without you, this would not be possible in this form. Thank you for your support guys, you definitely rock! The Force are countless giveaways again this month, which are and how you can participate you will find out in the video description, in the Discord or in the following announcement trailer. I wish you a lot of fun here and I say goodbye for today. I see you soon and as always, see you in the verse.